at tight end, 5'11", 160. Mason Compton is the go-to receiver at 5'10", 155. Curtis Lilenthal, 6'2", 175 at a receiver as Javier Zamudio tees this one up, angles it, and it will roll out of bounds inside the 10. So Durant, they still average about 276 yards of offense and just 17.6 points per contest allowed this season. Durant comes out, trips right, one to the left. LaFrenz steps up in the pocket, fires across the middle, looking for his tight end. Medema falls incomplete. Slide. Got Fries, Barnhart, Peterson, and Bowie up front. Hatfield, Black, and Lukowski. Tanner Lukowski at the linebackers. Sheely and Graves at the safeties. Thompson and Evan O'Neill at the corners. Packing it in tight. Off tackle left side is Tristan Hughes. He has run down after a short gain. Now the ball comes out. They're going to say he was down as a yeah, wonderful so. article. Well, back to action here. Third down and nine. Trips right. Bit of a high snap. LaFrenz brings it down. Looks left. He's got his man Compton behind the defense. He makes the grab into West Branch territory. Brought down at the 34. He is the guy that you do not lose track of. We've seen Compton, and he's had some big ones. Quarterback keep LaFrenz straight up the middle of the field. Tripped up by Hatfield. He's able to fall ahead to about the 30-yard line. Give him a gain. Second and five from the West Branch 29-yard line. Opening possession of the ball game. Twins either direction. Bears show blitz. Wildcats pressure. pick it up. Now there's pressure and just chucking it up and incomplete. Tanner Lukowski, the closest one over there. at They're on the shoulder with red numbers and black outline on the sleeve. The black pants with the white and red stripe down the side. Third down for LaFrenz. Steps up in the pocket. He's grabbed in the backfield. Tries to spin away. He's not going to get there. As Little Jacob, Andrew Black, Hatfield, among others, looked like Bowie as well. And this is a game, I mean, for them, they need it, but they've got nothing to lose. So yeah. they come out with a four-wide look to the right, one of those being the big fullback. Now they bring Compton in motion right to left. LaFrenz looking that way the whole way. Now he steps up in the pocket, tries to spin oh, away good, again. Good. Dalen was there to slow him down, and then four more white jerseys drop him. Another loss of five on the play. The Bears take over on downs. Now the Bears' offense comes out, averaging 391 yards and 39 points per contest. Durant only giving up 288, so they've not had bad defense this year. Bears start empty backfield, trips right, twins left. Cornwell looks to the right. It's covered up, but he still gets it out to Tanner and can't make the first guy miss. He's able to get ahead for about two on the play. Sin Sheely, Brady Lukowski, John Hatfield rotating in and out at the receivers. Cornwell, 13 touchdowns, one interception, 1,126 yards passing this year. Motion from Cheese left to right. Handoff up the middle is Tanner. Looks for some running room. Not a whole lot there. Across the 40 to about the... You know, 13 touchdowns, one interception that coming last week. Um, he's, he's just had an excellent start to the year. Twins either direction for Bo. Third down and four. Now Tanner motions out of the backfield. Looking this way the whole way. He's got a man coming deep looking for Sheely. Tries to adjust the route. Dives up, and Compton gets over at the last second to knock it away. Incomplete. Fourth down, Bears. Durant with a big play. Drives down, and then the Bears turn it over, give them to turn it over on downs. West Branch, though, goes three and out. Good protection for the Bears. Cornwell. End over end kick. Compton signals for the fair catch. Makes it. At the 25-yard line, so the Wildcats come back out. Moving left to right, we have 8.24 to go. First quarter, no score. Double tight. One splits out to the left. Play action, roll out this way. Tanner Lukowski gets the hands up, can't knock the pass down. Fret makes the catch, and 265-pound fullback rumbles his way across the 30 out to the 33. Guard right in front of him as well. Staying that same look, tight eye, handoff, coming near side is Hughes, and he keeps the feet churning. He's going to be close, I think, just short of the first down. Down, So yeah. literally flip the football over, and they get the first. And that was a pretty good spot for Duran. I thought yeah. he was stopped well short of that. See if the Bears can come up and make a play. Play action, look to flare it out. It's covered up. Now he steps back up, gets it out to Fret, and he's got a blocker. Look out, the big man rumbling down the sideline. He's got Thompson to beat. And Thompson trips him up, not before he gets all the way down to the West Branch 25-yard line. Yard gain. So Durant has pass completions of 30 and 40. And they've got the ball first and 10 at the West Branch 24-yard line. Off tackle left side, and Andrew Black says, no thank you. And he's going to wrestle down Hughes in the backfield. 
Second time they've moved into West Branch territory. Zach Badtrum into the backfield. Out of the shotgun look, trips right. They're looking to flare it out over here. And the wheel route is for Hughes. He makes the catch, turns it up. He's got nobody in front of him. He's at the 10, he's at the 5. He's into the end zone for a 30-yard touchdown pass. Well, and again, that was somewhat of the same, similar. He to attempt the extra point. Cole Medema is the holder. Snap on the money, spot down, kick up, plenty of leg, and it goes right through the uprights. So with 6.32 to go in the opening quarter, Durant strikes first. They lead by a score of 7-0. Back right after this. Bears defense bringing pressure up the middle. Short sidewinding kick, bouncing around. Sheely will pick it up inside the 20 at the 15. Cuts it to the outside on the far side at the 25. Turns it up 30, 31 yard line where he's wrestled out. The game plan, and that's what they need to do here is just be patient, stick to the game plan. You know, more times than not, we're wearing two teams out in the third and fourth yeah. quarter. Shotgun, twins either way. Cheese in motion left to right. They're going to run a speed option this way. Cornwell's going to keep it. Badstrom does a good job, forces him up, and then is able to come in and ride him down after a gain of about four on the play. Ball 6'7", 285 up front. We've got Badstrom, Kale, and Dawson Fret. So 252 and 265 at your linebackers, and Tristan Hughes on the outside. LaFrenz and Compton, your two best athletes at the safeties. Lilenthal and Medema at your corners. Motion from Cheese out of the backfield, looking to flare it out for Lukowski. Nothing there. Now Cornwell steps up. He's got a man behind the defense, Thompson, and a sliding catch made inside the Durant 40 at the 38-yard line. First down, Bears. Nice adjustment there by both. First and 10 Bears, their first first down of the night. Five and a half to go first quarter. Durant 7, West Branch 0. Cornwell comes out. Thompson and Graves to the left. Sheely and Lukowski to the right. Turn, handoff for Tanner Lukowski on the outside. He gets the edge turned and runs over a man, keeps the pile moving down to the 25, 26-yard line. That'll be another 13 yards and a first down for West Branch. For the Bears at the 26, near hash mark. Twins either direction. Cornwell from the gun, barks out the signals. Hands off for Tanner, tries to get to the outside, and Fret was blitzing. And the Bears are in four, four down territory, so we just need to get bits and pieces of this uh, game back. Second down, Cornwell surveys the defense. Straight drop back to pass. Great protection. Steps up, fires near side. He's got Thompson behind the defense, and he makes the grab for the West Branch touchdown. 29 yards, and the Bears crack the scoreboard. Well, and Thompson was a good seven to eight yards behind that defensive guy, and both threw a nice spiral in that. Well, I think after that score, pretty good uh, on there. I mean, you know, this team's been through enough. They don't get too excited. Uh, they just got to tend to their knitting and do what they need to do. Spot down, kick up, and right through the uprights. So with 4.16 to go now in the first quarter. West Branch comes back to tie things up at seven. And that's one, so let's see how the, the Bears cover this kick. Obviously with the approach. Another nice high end over end kick fielded at the 10 by Compton. Comes up, angles to the near side. The Bears do a great job staying in their lanes and cutting it back in. And see if the Bears, it seems like they've been doing a lot of blitzing. See if they stay with that to Keep pressure on the friends. They drop back into his own coverage. Now he's forced out of the pocket. Penalty flag from both directions. As Compton makes the catch coming back to the ball. But I have a feeling this one's going to go back a few yards. So the ball moved back to the 15 from the holding in the backfield. Makes it first down and 23. Trips right. They flare it out here. And the ball is incomplete. They were looking for Hughes. Let's back to the left. That's Medema over there. Or no, Compton, excuse me. Another bit of a high snap. LaFrenz looking for Compton, going deep. And Thompson does a great job fighting hand-for-hand hand with the receiver and knocks that pass away incomplete. Third and 23 at their own 15. 7-7 score, just inside four minutes to go first quarter. Trips right for LaFrenz. Looks to flare it out and nothing doing as Billy Freese was right there. LaFrenz tucks it, and he is greeted by Dalen Peterson and Jeff Bowie. A freshman and a sophomore clean up from what the senior started. Sack for the Bears, fourth and long for Durant. So it looks like, I believe that's 
And the friends back to punt this away. It's a nice high, but very short kick. And we'll take a bit of a Durant bounce and get downed at the Wildcat 41-yard line. Bears come out, empty backfield. Lakowski, Sheely, and Tanner Lakowski left. Graves and Thompson to the right. Cornwell out of the gun. Now they bring Cheese in motion. They will jet sweep him, coming to the near side. Looks to turn it up. Nice block by Brady. He sidesteps a man, dives forward, gets to about the 30-yard line. That will be a pickup of 11 and a first down. Um, everything about Brady has been, yeah. has been perfect effort so yeah, far. Yeah, he's a great kid, that's for sure. Twins either direction on first down and 10 from the Durant 30. There is the counterplay to the right side for Tanner Lakowski, and that was slow developing, and he's able to get ahead for maybe two. And I think those two yards it's quiet. Yeah. I mean, it feels like, oh, wow, he, he got 100 yards again. Just where did that come from? Yeah. Trips, and there's the motion. They will fake it to Cheese. Roll Cornwell out, steps up, fires. He's looking deep. He's got his man out there, but Sheely cannot run under it. Lilenthal on the coverage. I think Sheely kind of slowed up the route just a step, and third and nine from the Durant 28-yard line. Trips tight to the right. Thompson splits out left. Now Cheese comes in motion right to left. Play action, roll out to the right side. Cornwell. Steps up, throws on the run. He's got cheese dragging across the middle, makes the catch 12, turns up to the five where he's brought down. Give him a gain of 23 and first down bears. Fluke. They bring freshman Jeff Bowie in, that power spot that Dalen Peterson normally runs at that tight end. Eye formation, Sheely in motion right to left. Toss sweep comes near side for Tanner, cuts up underneath a block at the five, lowers the shoulder and gets in for the West Branch touchdown. There you go. You give them the ball on the 41-yard the line, the Bears are, are going to score more times than not. Seven-point lead. Good pressure, but the line picks it up. Cornwell drills that one all the way on to the track. Javier Zamudio readies the kick coverage. Another high kick that Compton will field at the 10. Brings it up middle of the field, tries to cut it to the outside. Again, the Bears stay home. And not only do they stay home, you've got coming up off the pile, 51 Cameron Hauser, a sophomore with the tackle. Didn't give him any openings, and that was a, a great job by some young Bears. First down and 10 at the 26-yard line for Durant. Trips bunched right, one split to the left. Now Compton comes in motion, high snap. They hand it off to him. He's hitting the backfield, tries to turn it up. It is grabbed by the jersey and thrown down by Tanner Lakowski. Back at the 22-yard line, a loss of four on the play. Bears on top, 14-7. to seven. Stay with that Trips look to the right. Compton splits out to the left. He comes in motion. Again, another high snap. They fake it to him. LaFriends looks to throw. Nothing there. He steps up and runs. Gets for what he can. Blackie and Dalen, along with John Hatfield, wrestle him down across the 25 at the 26. Inside of 25 on the clock. It does not look like it. No, they're just going to hold it until the start of the second quarter. So some big quarter number two underway. Durant now going towards the south. Almost southwest. Feels a little cockeyed, I think. Third down. They had third and nine when we flip sides. They have third and seven now. And there's the pass to Compton. And it was a little behind him, falls incomplete. Thompson was a 17-yard average. Those two are some pretty good returners, and they just have not been able to find a way to bust one this year. The friends, if you remember, had a real short kick his first time. This one, another nice, really high kick. It will hit and take a West Branch bounce. Medina will field and down it at the West Branch 44-yard line. I'm going to spot the ball actually at the 45-yard line. So it's a 24-yard punt, Quinny. Twin backs, either direction of Cornwell. Twins to the right. Receiver look. They're going to run the lead play coming near side for Cheese. Tries to turn it up. Nothing Whoa, doing. Nice tackle. Fret right there. Espenson and Sheely split right. Thompson to the left. Graves and Lukowski left and right, respectively, of Cornwell out of the gun. They run it. Tanner, nope, play action, steps up, looks underneath, Cheese makes the catch, is hit right as he catches, nope, the ball dropped to the turf, incomplete. 
Back to the four wide look. Koski behind Cornwell out of the gun. Looking to set up center screen. They get it to Sheely. Turns, looks for a block, is grabbed Whoa. by the shoulder pads. Whoa! <laughs> and Fret kind of let go. For the uh, um, shoulder pads. And here we go on fourth down. Cornwell straight drop back to pass. Looks deep for Thompson, and he threw that one way over his head. Incomplete. I'm going to run out of room. I normally have room for eight drives per, or ten drives per team, and we're already at five for Durant with ten minutes to go here in the first half. The friends takes the shotgun snap, straight, straight drop back to pass. Under pressure now, steps up, that pocket collapsed. He stays on his feet, carrying a couple of guys with him. He's going to get dropped for a loss of about four on the play, though. For Durant back at their own 48-yard line. And there is... Quick hitter across midfield. Nine minutes to go, first half. Bears up 14 7. Third and nine, Durant trips right. The friends, quarterback keeper the whole way again, and penalty flag comes in as the friend spins up to the 45 yard line. Let's see what the flag is. Yeah. Sheely and Graves back at about the 12 13 yard line. Friends gets another nice high kick. Sheely angles near side, lets it hit at the 15, rolls inside the five, out of bounds at the four-yard line. We just got Bo Cornweld right there. Bears will run out of the gun. Twins either direction. First down at their own four. Hand off, Tanner Lakowski tries to stretch it to the outside. Sidesteps the first man, gets ahead for about four on the play. Let's see if the Bears can pound away at this uh, Wildcat defense. Or a 93, 92-yard touchdown pass. That'd be nice, too. Hand off for Lakowski. He's hitting the backfield. Keeps the feet going, but has to do that just to get back to the line of scrimmage. Third down for the Bears. Third and six for the Bears from their own eight-yard line. Cornwell straight drop back to pass, looking left the whole way, steps up in the pocket now, rolls, now throws off of his back foot, and that was a dangerous pass, almost intercepted by Compton, incomplete fourth down. Um, West Branch is just sluggish on offense. Like you said, offensive line, uh, sometimes there's always one breaking down, and there's a problem right there. And bad snap goes through Cornwell's hands, and it will go out the back of the end zone. Whistle sounds. Javi Z with the run up. High but short kick. Compton Fields at the 38. Angles up to the right side. Runs into his own man. Sidesteps Cheese and then gets up close to midfield. We're a little sluggish. We're not focused. Um, and, and defense is the time to tune, tune it up. Toss near side for Hughes. He gets to the corner, turns it up. Cheese comes up from the safety spot. Gain of seven on the play, though. They bring Zach Badstrom in. Twins either direction. Friends straight drop back to pass. Steps up in the pocket, fires. He's got his man knocked away. Good job by Sheely to play that safety spot. Four-yard line. Friends again from the gun, gets good protection, rolls to his left now, steps up, tries to throw, lobs it, gets Compton, makes the catch at the 38-yard line in a first down. And drive stays alive for the Wildcats at the West Branch 38-yard line. Now they're going to pack everything tight. Hand off, quick hitter, Badstrom, the fullback up the middle. Brought down after a gain of about three. Kale Fret back into the ball game for the Wildcats. Got dinged up earlier. Compton splits out wide right. Toss sweep going that way for Hughes. Tries to string it out. Good, Good job. job. Looked like Hatfield John, came yep. up. Knocked him for a loss of four on the play. I Come see. into the I formation with Compton splits out to the right. Fred is back in there at fullback. Friends fakes the toss. Rolls out to the right. Tries to get to the outside, looking to square his shoulder. Steps up, throws, and this one a little behind the intended target. That was Engstler, and it falls to the turf, incomplete fourth down. And the Bears are keeping their defense out there. They're expecting, a, I think, a, a fake punt at this point. Sheely and Graves are deep. 
Another high angling kick. Sheely, fair catch, slides, fumbles it. And Durant's going to get on it at the 14-yard line. So now let's see if the Bears can use this to their advantage. 5.16 to go before halftime. 14-9 lead for the Bears. Trips right, one to the left. Now Cheese goes in motion left to right. There is the handoff left side for Tanner Lukowski. Looks for some running room. He sees some. 20, 24, 25-yard line. A gain of 11 on the play. Down Bears at their own 25-yard line. Sheely comes in motion. Right to left. They're looking to throw that way. A little tunnel screen action for Thompson. Looks for a block from Cheese. Stiff arms a man. Spun down as he crosses the 30. Eh. Both times inside the, the 10, so... Twin backs, twin receivers to the right. Cornwell hands off for Tanner. Looks for some running room left side. Squirts through a small hole across the 35 to the 36. That'll... First down at the 36-yard line now. Same look formation-wise. Cornwell handed off to Cheese on the right side. Looks to get to the outside. He's tripped up in the backfield. Penalty flag. Looks like a holding as well. First down and 22 for the Bears. Graves comes in motion. Fake the jet sweep to him. Look to flare it out out there to Tanner. And Badrum read that beautifully. He's thrown down for a loss of four. Second and 26, excuse me, from the 22. Tanner comes in motion out of the backfield. Cornwell looks that way. Hughes blitzing. Bo breaks a tackle in the backfield. Now turns, looks to step up. Now he's got Espenson throws, makes the grab at the 30. Turns it up, 35, lowers the shoulder. Nice tackle by Lilenthal, but the Bears pick up about 16 out to the 36-yard line. It looked like he was coming back to block, and then he adjusted and just turned around and got open in a wide open spot in the zone. Makes it a third down and 10 for the Bears. Trips bunched left, now motion from Cheese. Play action, Bo rolls out to his left. Looking, steps, goes deep. Looking for his man down there. And the catch made is that Sheely, I believe, inside the 30 at the 26 yard line. Nope, Thompson yeah. comes from the near side. First down Bears. Yeah, Ben, I mean, Ben has such great timing on his leaps. Yeah. That was a huge play. 38 yards, and the Bears finally back into Durant territory at the Wildcat 26-yard line. 225 and counting to go first half. Twins either direction, now motion. Cheese into the backfield. They will jet sweep him to the near side. Looks to turn it up. Not a lot of running room. Another penalty flag comes in from the referee. Bears come out. Twins either direction. Clock runs as we approach two minutes to go before halftime. West Branch 14, Durant 9. Cornwell, straight drop back to pass. Slant route is intercepted. Looking for Sheely. It went behind him, and Curtis Lillenfell has a grit gift right in his belly for the pick. First down, Wildcats at their own 25-yard line. Quick hitter up the middle is Fret, and he bulldozes out for about three on the play. Go to the gun, spread it out. Twins either direction. Compton in the slot near side. Friends looks right. Now looks back to the left, throws underneath, and that one is incomplete. Good pressure there by Friesen Peterson. Third down for Durant. Third down and six, a minute 32 to go. The fringe straight drop back to pass. Stays in the pocket, fires this one deep, and Compton goes up and makes the grab near midfield where he's brought down at the 49-yard line, a gain of 20. First down, Wildcats. Staying in their base, 4-3. Durant comes out with twins either direction. Out of the shotgun is LaFrenz. Straight drop back to pass. Blitz coming. They pick it up. Coming near side. He's got Compton wide open. Makes the catch with his hands at the 20. Trying to get away from Cheese. Brought down at the 16-yard line. Or side by side. You can't tell them apart too much. Yeah. Aside from the unis. Bears bringing pressure again. A little flare out here to Compton. Sidesteps one man. Steps out at the 43-yard line. Lilenthal and Medema split out wide right. Compton in the slot with Hughes out wide left. Fret stays in the backfield. Pump fake. Going deep. He's got his man. She's trying to turn. And luckily that pass was off target because Lilenthal had got behind the defense. Everybody was looking for the underneath route. 
Third down and long. They go four wide to the right. Now they bring Compton back in motion to the left side of the formation. Looking for him the whole way. Now LaFrenz rolls out to his right, steps up, throws off of his back foot, and the pass wow. is knocked away incomplete as there was Hughes. Got behind the defense on the wheel route. But Tanner Lukowski. Offense has not been able to find their footing. LaFrenz, a very short kick, angling near side, and it goes out of bounds near the 40-yard line. <coughs> we'll see where they spot it. They'll say at the 42 Shotgun, twins either direction. Now motion from Lakovsky out of the backfield to the near side. And again, pressure comes that way. Cornwell brought down in the backfield by Hughes. There's, I think the Bears are going to just let it. Well, they go no huddle here, but took a lot of time. Now they're just going to hand it off for Tanner up the middle of the field. And he's brought down after a gain of about three on the play. Bears not going to take a timeout. We will head to the locker room. 14 to 9 lead for the Bears, but look at this Durant squad pumped up, only trailing by five as we head to halftime. You are listening to the Bearcast. We'll be back with your halftime right after this. This is WestBranchFootball.com. We'll make it to Clarence. There's a train coming through. It's probably coming from North Cedar. There you go. Whistle sounds. Knuckleball that Sheely bobbles, picks up at the 10, angles up to the near side, Sutter steps, looks to get to the outside, nothing doing, he's swarmed under. And Sheely down at the 14, Durant takes the ball into the end zone, but Sheely was down. Well, I think the key, like Coach Hirschman said, I mean, a lot of it's just emotion. I and mean, the Bears just kind of out there ho-hum. I mean, they need to get fired up a little bit. First down, speed option to the left side, Cornwell. Last second pitches out to Tanner, turns it up the field, across the 30, 35, 39 yard line. That's a nice way to start things off with a 15 yard pickup on first down. You know. First down, Bears out to their 39 yard line. Twins either direction. Same play, just comes to the near side. Now Bo turns it up, breaks a couple of tackles, stays on his feet, wrestled down by his collar. All the way out to the 49-yard line. Another 10, another first down for the Bears. Yeah. And obviously they made the adjustment to, to go with that speed option, and it's, and it's been positive. Now there's the quarterback keep by Cornwell. Looks to cut it to the outside, tries to get a block, and tiptoes down the sideline out at the 45 of Durant. And, uh, he's doing a good job directing the offense. Second down and four. Cornwell from the gun, hands off for Tanner, cuts it back, fighting his way forward, gets enough for the first down inside the 35, down to, or inside the 40, excuse me, to about the 37 yard line. Twins either direction, Cornwell from the gun. Speed option, he's gonna keep it himself and nothing doing there that time. Durant flowed to the ball well and bring him down for maybe a short, well, about no gain on the play. Thompson and Hatfield to the left. Graves in the backfield behind Cornwell. Penalty flag. Bo with the option again. Cuts it up inside the 35 to the 34, but I have a feeling that was somebody not quite set or. Sure, because yeah. of all the, the sophomores and freshmen that were playing. Second down and 15, Hatfield comes in motion, left to right. They flare it out to him, and that one is incomplete. Just faltered. Now they move Hatfield into the backfield, put Graves out in a slot. Durant showing blitz. Bears pick it up, Cornwell all kinds of time, steps up, fires this one deep down the far sideline. Thompson with a lot of traffic, Compton picks it off, and he's down that far sideline looking for a return, and is escorted out of bounds. Um, but yeah, it's the second interception of the night, so it's going to be on the Bears' defense here. Quick keeper by LaFrenz up the middle. He crosses the 35 to about the 37-yard line, a gain of three. And we give up about four or five inches and about yeah. 30 or 40 pounds, too. Second down, Bears bring the blitz. Durant picks it up. There is the pass. It is dropped. 
Looked like Medema was the intended target across the 45. Falls and win the field position. And uh, third and six, this is where they somebody's got to make a play with a defensive rush or a defensive coverage. There's a quick little flare pass out there, and catch is made. That is Medema. He's across the 45. That'll be a gain of seven on third and six and a first down. Bears defense need to rise up here. Quick out route comes to Compton, makes the catch, makes the man miss. That was Thompson that missed the tackle. Compton down the near sideline, tripped up by Sheely as he gets into West Branch territory down to the 36-yard line. Moves the sticks again, first down at the Bears' 36-yard line. The friends steps up, goes deep. He's got his man out there. That's Lilenthal, cannot bring it in. He was behind the defense and just couldn't cradle it inside the five. That was six right there. Yeah, well, we need a big rush here from our front four. Freeze, Barnhart, Peterson, and Bowie. Blackie showing blitz. Steps out, now he does come. And he's under pressure. Bowie forces him to throw on the run. It falls incomplete. Third down and 10. Wins right. Compton splits out wide to the left. Badtram in the backfield next to LaFrenz. They've got trips to the right, actually. LaFrenz looking to throw. Now steps up. Blackie misses him. LaFrenz stays on his feet. Sidesteps a couple defenders and is wrapped up. Rugby scrum, but not before he gets inside the 25-yard line. Another first down. Wow. Gain of. There's the quarterback keeper again for LaFrenz. He just falls ahead behind that big offensive line for Wildcats. Packing it in tight with that eye formation. The fumble on the snap. They pitch it out. The ball's rolling around and brought down in the backfield by Hatfield as Hughes. Big break for the Bears right there to make third down and long back to the 26-yard line. A loss of five on the play. Third down and 12 at the 25-yard line. A bit of a high snap. The friends steps up in the pocket, comes near side. He's got Compton alone in the end zone as the defender falls down. Touchdown to Rand. Going to go four wide to the right. Now they come motion with Compton back to the left. LaFrenz rolls out to the right, throws it in the middle. Badtrum makes the catch. Gear. So they have been stuck in neutral all night. Nice kick sends Sheely back to the five. Angles up to the right side of the field. Forced up, brought down at the 21-yard line. They keep Cheese in the backfield. Hatfield splits out wide right with Ben Thompson. Twins to the left as well. Handoff for Cheese right up the middle of the field, and he just runs into a blue wall. No gain on the play. You know, which is obviously where most games are won. Second and 10 for the Bears after no gain. Speed option to the left side. Cornwell tries to turn it up, but nothing doing. Bears need a first down here to keep things going and get things back on our side. Twins right, backs on either side of Bo out of the backfield. Steps back, looking to throw. Now rolls out to the right, trying to find Cheese on the wheel route, and he cradles it, gets across the 30 to the 32-yard line. That's a pickup of nine and a first down. First and 10, give him 10 on that last play to the 33-yard line. Twins right, the short side of the field. Twin backs next to Cornwell. Hand off left side is Cheese. Turns it up and carries a man with him out close to the 40-yard line. Hatfield in motion. Left to right, gives a trips look to this wide side of the field. Straight drop back to pass, goes to Thompson, and he almost brings it in one-handed, but it falls incomplete second down. He just hasn't had a chance on a couple of these. Third down and three for the Bears from their own 40-yard line. Out of the gun, there's the handoff. Nope, Tom, or Cornwell's going to keep it himself. Turns it up, 45, 46-yard line. Give him six on the play and another first down for the Bears. Stacked receivers either way for the Bears. First and 10 at their own 46. 
Handoff for Cheese, and he fights his way ahead for maybe a yard on the play. You figure there's 260, 265, 285, so that's a lot of beef to be moving out. Yeah. But those linebackers are flowing well to take that outside away. So second and nine. Cornwell, speed option to the left, pitches it out to Cheese, makes the catch across midfield, stays on his feet, 40, 35 yard line where he's finally wrestled down. Well, drive. Sixth first down of the second half. First and 10 at the Wildcat 34, Durant 17, West Branch 14. Twins either direction. Handoff, nope, Cornwell's going to keep it again. Tries to bounce it to the outside, and we'll get close to the first down. I think he's a couple yards short, though. Down that far sideline, they'll say out of bounds at about the, well, he stepped out a little earlier than I thought, maybe the 28-yard line, so give him. Second down for the Bears. Sheely comes in motion left to right. Blitz coming. Flare it out out here for Thompson. Makes the catch. Turns it up. Tries to get to the outside. LaFrenz is right there. Wrestles him down after a gain of only a couple on the play. Cheese playing tailback. Motion right to left, and the Bears going to take a timeout. Coach Hirschman saw something as third and two. Same look. Sheely goes in motion. Right to left. I'm going to go off tackle with Cheese, and it looked like he had enough for the first down, but he greeted contact right away. I think second effort is going to give him enough. as he's Tanner Lukowski out of the game for the Bears with an ankle injury, so Graves has slid back to play tailback. John Hatfield into the game at one of the receivers. There is the handoff to Graves. Misses the first guy in the backfield, spins away, gets back ahead. Somehow maybe gets a yard out of that. In his face. Second and nine. Ball on the right hash. Twins either direction. Blitz coming off the edge. There is Cornwell keeping it himself. And now dancing around in the backfield. And he's going to get thrown for a loss back to the 25. Loss of three on the play. I think Quinny, he... Approaching a minute to go. Third quarter. Twins either direction. Cornwell out of the gun with Graves straight behind him. Straight drop back to pass. Goes for the slant route. Just a half step behind Sheely who couldn't look it in. Well, this would be one heck of a field goal if he makes it. Spot down, kick up, it's got plenty of leg, and no, it hits the left upright, no oh good. Oh my goodness. 51.7 on the clock, third quarter. Trips right, Compton splits out to the left. The fringe, straight drop back to pass. Flare it out on the far side for Hughes. He's got a little bit of running room. Splits a couple of defenders across the 30 to the 32 yard line, a gain of 12. Penalty flag comes down. There is the pass. Catch made by Ingstler. Down the seam he goes up near midfield, but see what the penalty is from the backfield. Compton splits out alone to the left. They go trips to the right side. The friends looking for Compton the whole time coming this way. He gets Thompson turned around and Ben able to react. Comes back and knocks the ball away incomplete. Compton matched up one-on-one -on -one with Thompson to the left. The friends, again, looking that same way, and that one overthrown. He was there. He had the inside position on Thompson. This is a big third and 15 for field position. Trips out here to the left side. The friends takes the snap, straight drop, forced out of the pocket. Steps up, trying to direct his receiver. Now throws deep, and the receiver came back. Big break for the Bears as it falls harmlessly incomplete fourth down. The return men are back a couple yards further than that, about 10. Friends, not quite as high, but this one is fair caught at the 44-yard line on the final play of the third quarter. West Branch gets the football at their own 44, trailing 17-14. You're listening to the BearCast. We'll be back with the fourth quarter right after this at westbranchfootball.com. 17 to 14, West Branch trails, 12 minutes on the clock. First down for the Bears at their own 44-yard line. Cornwell takes the snap, swings it out here to Cheese, tries to make the first man miss, and 
cannot do so. Rest um, actually, we uh, we for the one that have had two turnovers. Yeah. Twins either direction for Cornwell on second down and nine from the 45. Straight drop back to pass. Under pressure. Gets hit as he throws it. Looking deep for cheese, and it falls incomplete. Um, and a lot of pressure on Bo Cornwell. Third down and nine. Twins either direction. Now Cornwell sends Hatfield in motion. They'll fake it to him. Slant route goes to Thompson. Makes the catch. Brought down immediately Short. as he gets across midfield. See if Bo can hit the coffin corner here. Snap a lot better that time. Bo, high angling kick, comes near side, hits at the 10, rolls just into the end zone. He just missed it. So Durant's second straight possession will start at their own 20-yard line. The Bears now have 10 minutes to get a stop, get the ball back, and find the end zone to take the lead. Friends up under center. Off tackle left side is Hughes. Tries to get to the outside. And gets ahead for about five on the play. The Bears got to suck it up and find a way. Second down and five. There's the quick hitter to fret the fullback, and he bulldozes his way up just shy of the first down. Four more on the play. And the Bears jump off sides instead. Hard count. First down Durant. Favorable walk-off on the penalty from the 29 to the 35. Toss sweep comes Hughes near side, and he is Good grabbed defense. in the backfield, brought down. Hatfield Bowie. slowed him up. Bowie finishes him off, a gain of a yard. I would be surprised if they throw. If they do, it's going to be a safe short pass. High snap, though, oh, over LaFrance's head, rolling there. around. And the Bears come up with yes. it. Yes, West John Hatfield. At the 24-yard line. They have been flirting all night long. Snaps have been just a little hot. Hit on that, but this is uh, maybe the break that's going to help the Bears out. Cornwell, play action, flares it out over to Sheely on the right side, looks for a block. Is oh, they're throwing a brought block down. We're going to get a block in the back against West Branch, though. And, and Cheese had positive yards, and we get called for the block. Play action, roll out to the right is Cornwell, steps up, he's got his man. That is Thompson in the end zone, fighting for it, and touchdown Holy for the cow. West Branch touchdown. 32 yards, Thompson outfought Lilenthal. The signal has been made, they're still wrestling in the end zone for it. They can't change their mind on this. They already signaled touchdown and he rolled over. What uh, a throw, what a catch. You know, and I was, you know, more importantly, it puts the Bears up, which hasn't, uh, hasn't happened in quite some time. Cornwell to attempt the extra point, and this one right through the uprights. Well, that takes the field goal equation away. Tired, uh, you know, um, but yeah, there's a little more spark, obviously, when you're, when you're on the high side of the scoreboard. Javi Z's kick sends Compton back inside the 10. He bobbles it, gets it back under control. Comes up to the middle of the field, tries to cut it to the outside. Fumbles oh, the football again. Come on. Around. Can the Bears get back on it? We will see. It is oh. recovered by the Wildcats at the 30-yard line. Wow. Oh, the Bears almost got another big break right there. Colfels and make some plays a little bit longer. Pressure coming up the middle by Blackie. He can't hang on to him. Penalty flag comes down as LaFren spins away, but this one's going to go back. And three wide to the left. Compton. Alone to the right. And that's who you want to watch. LaFrenz looks for him and undershot the intended target. He got open in the zone. 7.49 to go in the game. Bears on top, 21-17. Compton splits out wide left, the wide side of the field. Trips to the short side. They flare it out, out here for Hughes. Makes the catch, tries to turn it up. Gets out close to the 20-yard line. See. Now they've got bracketed coverage on Compton to the right side. And pressure coming, Good. Hauser throws him down in the back yes. at the 15. The sophomore came on the blitz, untouched, makes it fourth and a mile. Okay, Kick this one away. And this one, end over end kick, Sheely fair catch, and bobbles uh. it again, and Durant comes up with it. No doubt on this one, Durant will get the ball near midfield. 21-17 lead for the Bears. Trips right. 
LaFrenz, straight drop back to pass, fires across the middle, tipped up, and oh, yes! picked off by Blackie! He tipped it up, came back, No, got it, he didn't up. get no, it. No, he dropped it. Oh, man. Oh, no. We just got to get three more plays here. One at a time, Bears, one at a time. Second down and ten, pressure coming oh, again. Yeah. LaFrenz gets away from the first man, can't get away from the second as Billy Freese and Jeff Bowie, the defensive ends, converge on LaFrenz at the 41, a loss of eight on the play. Yeah, and that for number five, though. He is a dangerous weapon. They've got him in a slot on the left side. And they fake the flare out to him. LaFrenz rolls out, oh. steps up inside of pressure, rolling away, throws on the run. He's got Medema, ah. makes the catch. Cheese there to grab him Short and wrestles him down, down at the 45-yard line. Well, they've got oh, quads no, to the right. Going, they're going for it. They're going for it. Quads to the right. They bring Compton in motion. Lone to the left, looking for him just on the wheel route. Now the pop pass to Fret, and the big fullback makes the catch. Rumbles inside the 30 for the first down. And got open for the first down. Stay in that quads look. Compton again in motion. Oh, well, there's movement. Penalty flag comes down. Pass comes near side. It is caught by Lilenthal. He's going to take this down close to the end zone. Down it's at the one, back. but it's it is coming, coming back. back. 5.07 to go in the game. 21-17 lead for the Bears. First and 15 at the West Branch. 31 for Durant. Compton comes in motion. Pressure, LaFrenz steps up, rolls to his right. Hatfield there, can't oh. bring him down, stays on his feet. Angles down the near sideline, steps out of bounds at the 15, 13-yard line. Give him 18 and enough for the first down. Down and 10, now they come back to the power look. Eye formation, handoff is to Fret. He's greeted at the line of scrimmage, falls ahead for maybe a yard. Find a play right here, boys. Tight end left, quads right. Now they bring Compton in motion. Penalty flag, false yeah, start. They moved again. Ready to explode, jacked up. Yeah. They've played a good game. Motion, Compton, bit of a high snap. The friends gets it down, steps up, fires across the middle, and it is incomplete. Almost intercepted, knocked away though. Hatfield and Sheely were right there. Fret in the backfield, trips right. They look near side for that There's flare pressure. out. Gobbin to the deep part of the end zone. Sheila tipped it up, and Insler comes back and no. makes the catch for the touchdown. <laughs> By Gonzalez. Snap down, pressure by the Bears, and it's blocked. So a field goal will win it for us. So the Wildcats, Gonzalez. It's this one, kind of a knuckleballer. Cheese fields at the 17. Heads up to the far sideline. He's got a little bit of running room. It closes down those. He's across the 35 to the 38-yard line. Good teams come through. First down at the 38-yard line for the Bears. Twins either direction. Cornwell out of the gun. Hands off. Nope, he's going to keep it himself. Looks to get to the outside, and that closes down. Now he's scrambling back to the far side. Looks for a block. Looks for some running room. Sidesteps one man. Ran a long ways and got about a yard. Yep. Second down and nine. I'll well, give him two yards. Second down and eight. Hand off. Cheese off tackle right side. Looks to get to the outside. Breaks the first tackle and then is thrown out at about the 44-yard line. Bears are going in a no huddle here, so Coach Hirschman is into his two-minute offense. Twins either way. Now motion from Sheely. Right to left, gives Tripp's look. Roll out this way. Cornwell steps up, and he throws deep and almost intercepted. Thompson ran the stop route. You got you to gotta make the play, so. Fourth down and all of five yards. Uh -oh. Trips left, now motion from Cheese left to right. Cornwell play action, rolls out to the left. Steps up, goes deep. He's got Thompson behind the defense, comes back for it. Makes the grab at the 20-yard line. Is wrestled down. First down for the Bears, knocking on the red zone again. You know that? First down Bears at the 21-yard line. Changes things as well with the field goal leg of Bo Cornwell. Speed option, Cornwell. Pitches last second, bad decision oh, yeah. as Cheese was covered up as soon as he makes the catch. Hards. Yeah. 
Twins the other direction. Handoff right up the middle for Cheese. Just gets a couple yards again. Basically made up what he lost. 23-yard line. It'll be about a 40-yarder from right here. Yeah. Basically no win to speak of. Motion Hatfield left to right. Cornwell straight drop back to pass. And goes for the screen for Cheese, and he's gobbled up in a loss of three on the play. Time out. Not 43-yard field goal. Let's see if Durant's going to call a timeout. Try to ice him. Boy, they got some tall fellows up yeah, the middle do. there. There's the snap. Spot down. Kick up. It's got the leg, and it splits the uprights. Oh, my goodness. He would have been good from 50 with that one. 48.9 on the clock. A new school record for Bo Cornwell. Kickoff coverage. And Bo Cornwell kicking this one off. This one in between the return men, and it's going to bounce and go into the end zone for a touchback. Trips right, one left. LaFriends. Straight drop back to pass, looking near side for Compton. Chee, or excuse me, Ben Thompson goes up, knocked it away. Yep. Uh, Unless you're wearing the blue and yellow, or if you're one of the West Branch coaches. Bears just need the to friends hang out on. route over here, almost picked off again as the receiver was going the wheel route. And Tom, I think everybody's down on this end of the field right now. They've been moving back and forth with the ball. Third down and 10, Durant trying to get everybody set. Twins either direction, Fret in the backfield. The friends straight drop back to pass, pressure coming. Pass is thrown, intercepted! Yes! Evan O'Neill is at the 20, the 15, and it's gonna be a left out of bounds. He tried to take a big shot and he delivered it back. Holy cow! One of the Durant defenders came over and tried to lay him out and Evan just threw the shoulder into him. And I think that was the friends and he went flying out of bounds. They got the blocked extra point too that makes this a one point win for the Bears. As Bo Cornwell, just with the victory formation on between these guys down there, there's a lot of respect because this was a heavyweight fight again tonight. And the Bears dig deep and find a way to come out with the victory. Wow, and Durant gives, deserves a lot of credit. You know, they played a heck of a ball game. You know, this was, this was not given to the Bears by any means. They had to earn it. And, oh, my goodness, what a great game. Two weeks in a row, yeah. we go down to the last seconds of the game.